Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to add an event to the S Planner app on the Samsung Galaxy A3. So the S Planner is a, an alternative to the default calendar app on your device. Um, arguably it's a lot better um, than the calendar app, it's far more detailed, there's a lot of features, can be a little overwhelming for new users, but if you're simply using it to add events and keep track of your day-to-day -day, uh, itinerary then it's worthwhile. So open apps and find the S Planner app. From here, as you can see, we've got a few details on our calendar, not a lot. You can press on one of these uh, listings to get more detail, but to add a new event, press on the plus icon. At the top, we have to add a title. So let's just pay rent uh, due. Oh. Then underneath, we can select the day that needs to be due. So let's say it's on the 20th. And we can put times and stuff like that. We scroll down a little bit and we can see uh, the email it'll be attached to. So the email the event will be for and how we want to be notified. So you can choose uh, basically yeah, how long you want it. So you can have it the day before, an hour before, however you wish. You can pick a location. So if it's, you need to be in a specific location, just press on this and it'll open up the map. And you can also use these options at the bottom. So you can use the invitees option to add a contact. You can select the notes to, well, add a note. So if you want to be able to add further details about the event. The privacy will add some security so you can make sure that other people can't access it. And also the time zone. So if you are, say, you're going on holiday and there's an event that's happening overseas, you'll use this and you can pick the time zone you need to. Once you've added your event, just simply press save. And what you'll find is that it will now be added to the S Planner. Obviously, you can, if you need to, you can open it up again and you can also press the delete option to delete it from your calendar. Also the share option if you want to be able to send it to someone else. Just send it as an event file. And that's how you add an event in the S Planner app. Um, I don't think there's anything else to be said about it. It's a great app. Uh, I highly recommend using it if you own a Samsung device, any Samsung device really. Um, and yeah, give it a shot. And that's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.